Well, welcome back. Uh, we, we do believe that the viewership is still above 10, so we'll continue as long as it stays above 10. So, uh, <laughs> but we're glad you're here. I, I do have some, some stuff for you, and it's pretty much this time all by way of announcement. So let me, um, let, let me get on with it. Yesterday, the elders met by way of Zoom. We have now got a target date for reopening, and that is the 24th day of May. Uh, we plan to have a worship service here on the 24th of May. That's our target date. Now, um, with all these things reopening, as you well know, if things were to explode in a very negative way, if things were to go south, we may have to change even that day. But at this moment, we hope to be open on the 24th. Now let me add to that, there's going to be a significant shifts. For instance, I guess the major one will be um, that we will have a 915 service. We're going to move the first service up um, 15 minutes, and here's why. During the survey, one of the things that you seemed to fear the most was the crowded hallways. So what we're going to do is move the first service up by 15 minutes, which will allow people to get in and out without the crowded hallways. So that's what that's all about. There will be no child care. There will be no adult classes, at least on site. Now, you may be having your adult class via Zoom. That's fine. But that will then give you um, 15 extra minutes to get here uh, for the second service. The second service, or the services, both of them, will look considerably different. We're encouraging the at-risk population to not attend. Now, we're not telling you you can't attend. We're simply saying that if you are in that at-risk age group, like I am, um, it might be wise for you to wait a couple of weeks before you come back. Um, also, we're going to encourage masks to be worn. We're not legislating that. We're simply encouraging it. We have the sanctuary set up such that you will be six feet apart. Um, we are governmentally allowed to have 50% of the um, uh, worshiping population, or 50% of the building occupied. And we think we can do that in two services. And if we do have more than we think, which we don't believe there will be, we'll have an overflow crowd here in the uh, Inwood Hall. Also, for those of you who choose to stay home, um, the, the service will be streamed or taped. I forget which, how we're going to operate that. But there, the service will be available to you in your, in your homes. Um, guys, the survey was quite interesting. It seemed to suggest that we have three um, parts of our congregation. The, the raring to get back, the uh, I'm coming back, but I've got a lot of concerns, and then I'm not coming back for a while. Um, folks, there is this balance that we're trying to strike between faith and fear. And that is not easy. If it was an individual choice, then we would be encouraging faith. But the decision that we have to make as leadership affects a larger group. Therefore, if you have reservations, please don't feel like that is some indication of your lack of faith. In terms of choosing the 24th, let me, let me tell you a principle that a man taught me right when I started in the ministry. His name was Bob Butterfield, and he was an elder in a PCA church in Orlando, Florida. And he said, if we're going to err, err on the side of mercy. 
Well, we thought, if we're going to err about this decision, let's err on the side of safety. Because we're making a decision for more than just ourselves. So we feel like the 24th is to err on the side of safety. That gives us another three weeks or so to, to look at the data and, and just see where things are headed. But, um, guys, each of you will have to make your own individual decision based on your own individual life setting, and we understand that. And we would love to think that everybody would be back here on the 24th. We don't think that's going to happen. Um, but, for now, we want you to know that on the 24th, we are planning to have a service here in the sanctuary. Oh, one other little item that we'll, we'll get back with you about further is singing. You know that singing was one of the ways that the virus was spread in this choir meeting in Seattle or wherever it was. So we'll have to address that. And, but, <coughs> pardon me, um, offering plates will not be passed. Um, bulletins will not be handed out. The doors will be propped open. All those things uh, with the design of being as safe as possible. So, folks, whatever group you, find, you, you fall into, you are accountable to the Lord for your own decisions. We understand that. And don't let anybody um, suggest that you are being less than faithful because you choose to stay home. We understand how complicated this whole thing is. But the good news is, <laughs> on the 24th of May, Lord willing, we'll be back together again, and we look forward to seeing you then. Thanks.